Japan's Iron Maiden's Love Bites are back with a third album, Electric Pentagram, out via JPU Records on the 31st of January 2020. In a short amount of time, Love Bites have thrashed their way halfway around the world in pursuit of heavy metal. From being crowned best new bands at the Metal Hammer Golden Gods Awards in 2018, to wowing crowds at Download Festival and Bloodstock Open Air, and supporting Dragon Force on a UK tour last month. The five strong band refused to slow down. Now with Electric Pentagram on the horizon, Love Bites push forward stronger than ever, with this being their fifth CD released in the UK since their debut EP was released less than 30 months ago. Back with a new release far sooner than most would have expected, Love Bites are on an upward trajectory. The last album, Clockwork Immortality, went down very well amongst metal audiences, including us here. And they've been wearing on the stage too. We know we've seen them, and it was great stuff. So can the Japanese headbangers keep the momentum going with Electric Pentagram? Setting the bar early, at least in regards to speed and heaviness, Thunder Vengeance is Love Bites at their most thrashiest. The firepower of the guitars, alongside the motor shells that are the drums, are very explosive. All while vocalist Asami sings along with all the range of a Valkyrie leading the assault. With no signs that they're looking to mellow in the slightest, Holy War has a bit more symphonic bombasticness to it, and a guitar solo that just slays. Golden Destination has such a great galloping set of guitars and drums, it makes the heart beat that little bit faster, although the chorus is perhaps the best thing about it. Now after a couple of grander sounding tracks, it's back to a more straightforward but equally as enjoyable headbanger would raise some hell. The squeals of guitars are particularly on point here. Today is the day is fist pumping heaviness where dueling guitar solos bring the epic, whereas when Destiny's Align is very focused on the powerful voice that Asami has. Changing tactics momentarily, a Frozen Serenade is an apt title, as it has a chillier approach and softer sound. A really nice song and a welcome break from faster tempo metal, even if the last few minutes does increase said tempo. Combining a meaty drum beat with more symphonic elements, Dancing with the Devil makes a play to be the catchiest track on the album, followed by a couple of energetic headbangers in the form of Signs of the Deliverance, Set the World on Fire and The Unbroken, each one as great as the last thanks to Love Bite's ability to just keep going and going. The frantic riffing alongside groovy as hell rhythm and epic singing really makes the latter one of the album's best. Which does lead us to the end, and unsurprisingly one final momentous metal effort that ticks all the right boxes for a Love Bite song. Is this the best Love Bites release yet? It's certainly the most consistently great. This band could surely only get bigger and better when they're releasing albums like this. Electric Pentagram is out on the 31st of January via JPU Records. Make sure you check it out and let us know what you think in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. You can check us out on GBHBell.com as well as on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Tumblr. Go to Patreon to help us out over there. That's patreon.com forward slash GBHBL as well as Big Cartel where you can find some of our merchandise. We have a podcast running on SoundCloud and Apple Podcasts. And of course, if you like this video, do us a favour, hit the subscribe button and help the channel grow. Games, horror and heavy metal, what else is life for?